All right, so there's my sound. Let's see. No, Noth nothing from the rear speakers. And even from what this is showing, I'm only in 2.1. The subwoofer's on the bottom and left and right, so center channel's not doing anything. Uh, sadly, no surround sound, it seems. Today is the day another streaming service has launched. Paramount Plus giving you access to all the Viacom channels, Nickelodeon, MTV, CBS, all of that stuff. This is a first look. I'm going to go through the website, show you the sign up process, and even probably show it to you on my TV, either my Android TV or my Xbox. Let's get into Paramount Plus and let's check it out. Before we get going, make sure you click that like button for me, click subscribe, and check out Indulge Clothing for the merch. Paramount Plus. And as you can see over here, we have live sports, breaking news, a mountain of entertainment. Peak streaming for shows and movies you can only watch here to the moments the world can't stop watching. Stream it all on Paramount Plus. So uh, MTV, Nickelodeon, Comedy Central, BET, CBS, Peak Originals. This is what a lot of the streaming companies are doing to try and get more subscribers by having original content that's only on their streaming service. It makes people want to pay for the streaming service, um, even though they may have regular cable and not even need this. Peak Competition, catch edge of your seat action with CBS Sports like the NFL, UEFA, and more. News, all the news you could want from CBS. Peak Family Time. So, Paw Patrol, Dora the Explorer, all the Nickelodeon type stuff. And Peak Convenience. You can watch up to three devices. Uh, you can create separate profiles for the whole family and you can stream for commercial, you can stream commercial free, except for live TV and a few TV shows. So that's interesting. Some TV shows apparently have commercials, I guess, even if you pay for the uh, version of this that does not have commercials. And down here is all your platforms, Android, iPad, iPhone, Apple TV, Chromecast, Fire TV, LG, PS4, Roku, Samsung, Vizio, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, and Xfinity. So, I see Chromecast here. I'm wondering if it's on Google TV. What are you waiting for? They're giving you a whole month for free, which will end at the end of March. And uh, the plans start at $5.99. That's the plans that include the commercials. For $9.99 a month, you can get the plans without a commercial. Me, I'm probably gonna go with the plan with the commercials just because I'm interested to see like how long the commercials are. So I wanna show you that. So, so let's sign up. Let's try it for free. You're just three steps away from streaming. So pick your plan, choose from limited commercials and commercial free, oh, which includes the ability to download shows and watch offline. So the commercial free version, you can download them on your iPad or your phone watch it when you don't have internet you get a monthly or annual plan option uh, the annual plan will save you a little and there's no commitment you can cancel any time or change your plan at any time so you could go from the ten dollar a month down to the five dollar a month etc i see they have a little disclaimer here on commercial free live, live streams like your local cbs station still have commercials and are due to streaming rights a few shows play with promotional interruptions very interesting. Um, so there's your pricing. Six dollars a month, ten dollars a month. I was saying five. That's my bad. Six dollars a month, ten dollars a month for no commercials. And if we save fifteen percent, it is sixty dollars for the year with limited commercials, or a hundred dollars for the year, commercial free. So uh, I don't care to save. I want to do the limited commercials just to see how the commercials are. Let's continue. Next, let's create your account, your Paramount Plus account. You can get your personalized show recommendations from all the channels they offer. Pick up watching where you left off on any supported streaming device. Access your local CBS station based on your location. So wherever you're at, that's the uh, CBS station that you'll get. And so just the uh, normal information here. Um, let's fill this all out. 
Oh, I wondered if they were going to have other here. Ah, so it's telling me this email address is already taken. So it's telling me my email address is already taken, which is interesting because I've never signed up for this service. But I have seen that this service is tied to CBS All Access, which I did have CBS All Access. So uh, I'm going to click sign in. Yeah, see, looking for CBS All Access, you're in the right place. CBS All Access is now Paramount Plus. Sign in here to start streaming. So I have no clue what I made that password, but uh, let's get by it. I, uh, I guess I guessed that right. So just one last step, add a payment method. Don't forget, your subscription renews on a monthly or annual basis starting today. You can cancel your subscription or change your plan at any time. No credit card, no problem, they accept PayPal. So for people who don't want to give them a credit card, they got another way for you. So it's still telling me over here that I'm going to get a month for free. So uh, that's that's good. Um, I guess I'll put the credit card in. Just All right, and now I am signed in. So, so it's telling me you're in. Let's personalize your experience. Choose at least three shows to get you started. So off of this screen... Um, I would say that I liked the challenge. That was my jam when I was like growing up. Ink Master, definitely. Never cared for SpongeBob. Um, but that'll be my three. All right, let's start streaming. So uh, on the computer, Double your streaming. Save with a package deal. Add Showtime and enjoy commercial-free access to all Showtime. So I wonder, uh, let's see, how much is this? So $15 a month. It's a normal price for Showtime, so that's like no deal. Have another device. Connect it now and watch on the big screen. So uh, let's see what live TV they have. So ET Live, CBS Sports HQ my local CBS station. See what this looks like. Allow it to Pop into the perimeter 285 around Sandy Show Springs uh, and done with. So if we click on shows up top, here's a list of all the shows. They have all the categories up here as well. Originals, dramas, comedies, reality TV. This is what I want to see. Welcome to Paramount Plus. Dive in. Newly added episodes. Blah, blah, blah. All right. Um, so I was interested in what seasons. Oh, wow. So they don't have all the seasons. They have all the way back to season 11, which is, I mean, that's that's a while ago, 2005. This is actually when I was really watching it, 2005 through like 2009 or something like that. So, man, I remember a lot of these people. Let's grab one of these and just see how it... Uh... For bundling made easy, go to Geico.com. Did you know oh, Geico could save you hundreds on car insurance and more? Seconds. So what are you waiting for? Captain Ahab to help you find a parking spot? Mercy Loading zone. To the northern lots where there be spaces as big as whales. Geico. be a commercial break that's actually i think the intro no no it is so 15 seconds on this commercial but you see up here in the corner so you get 90 seconds of advertisement all right so uh now that we're past the intro let's jump over to here ah so see this one is a minute and 10 seconds so uh i would guesstimate that your ads are, are kind of like normal ads uh, when you're watching this episode, like this is a 21, 22 minute episode, but by the time I watched 90 seconds an ad, now a minute and 10 seconds in ads, and then two more sets of ads, it's going to make the challenge like an original episode of TV where that it's 30 minutes long. Now, uh, let's go to movies. I'm wondering, console wars, that sounds interesting. Now, I'm really a guy for uh, who loves HD and that kind of thing. So, like, let's choose, um, let's choose something with some action, uh, action. And uh, well, a lot of these seem to be slightly 
older movies. Wow, Evolution. I used to love that movie. Don't, don't ask me that. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these are like way, way older movies, in, in my opinion. Very interesting. Um, so let's pick Halloween, and let's see if we have... So I don't see any, uh, any ads in this. It looks like a movie you would get to sit through without an ad. So down here, parental controls, devices... And I do see Android TV here, so maybe this will work on a Chromecast with Google TV. I'm, uh, I'm not certain, but we'll have to try it out and see. So that's it on the computer. Let's go install this on the Xbox and uh, maybe even my Android TV if I can. And um, we'll see how this plays, see if we get surround sound. All right, so we are downstairs. We're on my Chromecast with Google TV, which is essentially the same thing as Android TV. So let's see... Paramount Plus. Here's Paramount Plus on the Google Play Store. So it is, uh, it is on Android TV, even though it doesn't show on the website. So uh, let's go ahead and install this. All right, now that our app's installed, let's open it up. See what our, ooh, nice. See what our sign-in process is here. So uh, you can sign up here as well, of course. We're going to click Sign In, and then it gives you a couple of options. How would you like to sign in? On my TV, use your email and password. So that's like the really complicated way. On the web, sign in on Paramount Plus. On the app, use the mobile app to link your account to your TV. must be on the same Wi-Fi network. Okay, this may be a little more complicated than I thought it would be, but let me get the app on my phone, and then uh, we'll see about getting this on the TV. And this is showing that it already has a million plus downloads, which is pretty crazy for a streaming service that's been up like seven or eight hours. Now, weirdly enough here, this doesn't seem to be giving me a sign-in option. Like, contact support, FAQs, TV settings... That's the settings side, um, and if I click on something to play, well, now it's just playing it. I wonder if it like knows my account. I'm very confused. Um, well, give this a go. Let's say on the app and see what it says. Sign into the Paramount Plus app. And connect to the same Wi-Fi network as your Android TV or device. The mobile account asks if you'd like to sign in with your current account. Select yes. When complete, this page will refresh. So, uh, let's see exactly how this works. Let's open it again. Um... I'm not, I'm not uh, kidding any of that. Huh. Alrighty then. Uh, in that case, we're going to do it the hard way, where we manually enter in the email address and password. I'll be right back. Alright, so uh, I'm seeing the same window that I've already saw before. Just going to click close on this. So on the, on the uh, Android TV here, or on the Google TV here, it definitely looks a little different than on the computer. The computer had everything lined across the top. Uh, this seems to have everything along the right side here. Your shows, your movies, your live TV, etc. Let's select a movie and uh, let's go with, here's a, here's a somewhat new movie. Let's click it. No info here on whether it's 1080p or full HD or surround sound or anything like that. And uh, so now this is streaming but I can tell you, this is not in surround sound. I actually currently don't even, don't even hear any sound. There it is. Alright, so there's my sound. Let's see. No. 
no, nothing from the rear speakers. And even from what this is showing, I'm only in 2.1. The subwoofer's on the bottom and left and right, so center channel's not doing anything. Uh, sadly, no surround sound, it seems. All right, so that was a uh, quick tour of Paramount Plus. A little bummed that I don't see some surround sound options. Kind of bummed that it's not in surround sound, but, but that's just me because I, I love surround sound. Now the uh, sign-in issues, not entirely sure there. The app didn't pop up and show me anything. My app honestly never even let me sign in. I, I literally, like, the first time I couldn't see anything, and then the next time it seemed to start playing. They, they've probably got to work out a few bugs on that, I believe. It's, it's early. I mean, it's 7 a.m. before I even go to work, so trying to get this done to get this content up to you guys. It's Paramount Plus a good deal. $6 a month is not too bad. Uh, by the time you add it up though, if you're paying five for Discovery, six for this, you're at 11. Add in Disney Plus, that puts you at either like 18 to 23, 24. But honestly, with those three streaming services, you could really stream almost anything you need. Definitely if you add, add Netflix, that puts you at like $33 a month. Um, so you can get a lot of content for a little amount of money now without having to have cable at all. So I think that will do it for the Paramount Plus first look. Hopefully you liked the video. If you did, click that like button for me. Click subscribe and check out IndulgeClothing.com for the merch. And I'll see you next time. Deuces.